This video will show you how to roll back your printer firmware. If you have recently updated your driver or your firmware and you find that you can now cannot print refilled ink cartridges, this should fix that problem for you. So first of all, you do need to turn off any automatic updates that are set for your printer. You can do that via your computer on the control center or you can do that on your printer itself on most models. And Next, we'll get the IP address of your printer. So you'll need to go to the printer for this one. And this is so that you can remotely reinstall the drivers on your computer without having to connect via USB. All you have to do is go into Tools from the home screen and then click on the Wi-Fi button. You can see there TCP slash IP and there's your IP address second down. So write that one down. And now on your computer, go into Control Panel and Hardware and Sound, Devices and Printers, find your printer and we're going to right click on it and then select Remove Device. This will delete the drivers and disconnect your printer obviously from your computer. Now go to support.brother.com and click Downloads and then select your printer, choose your operating system, and we're gonna select full software package. Just check the release date there on the right to make sure it is before 2015. Let that download, and then click it to install it. Once that's all extracted, it shouldn't take too long. So it's all installing and I'll just show you what I do to run through the install process. You might want to select obviously different answers here. So I'm going to select um, connect by Wi-Fi and I'm just going to go ahead without changing the, the firewall. Okay, so just select which ones you want to install. You don't need control center if you don't want it. I'm not using fax, so I'm not going to select those ones. Okay, now you can select if you want to have a pin, so if you have multiple computers where you can send your scans to. And here is where we enter the IP address of the printer. Okay, and now it's just installing. Super easy. Of course, you don't need to connect it via Wi-Fi. I was just being lazy. You can also connected by your USB. All good. Okay, it's all installing. Once that's done, it's just showing the link where you can view the manuals on the internet. And you can register if you wish. I choose not to. And I'm just going to dis disable status monitor on startup and also the research and support program. I'm gonna restart my computer later, but of course it's best to restart it now so that all the registry gets rewritten. And I'm just going to now right click on the printer, printer properties, and we're gonna print a test page just to make sure it's all connected. Beautiful, I can hear it printing now. So that's all you need to do. And now we have the older driver installed. Of course, the most important thing here is do not select automatic updates. So make sure you get that disabled. And that's it for this video. If this works for you, please give a like and a subscribe. And feel free to please leave a comment if you have any troubles at all, or if you have any suggestions of anything you would like to see to do with another video on printers. Bye.